Hey Cancers, welcome to the second half of November love reading for Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So Cancers, your meditative session was real deep, okay? I'm warning you now, it was really deep. I feel like there's some good lessons in here. It does feel like it's going to a positive place, but I'm just warning you now, it's deep, okay? I'm also not going to do my typical intro. I got tired of doing that again. <laughs> So those have been me for a long time. You know, I go through cycles of doing it and not doing it. If you have any questions or confusions on how to understand tarot readings or what the guidelines are, please watch that video link below on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer. I promise you will answer a lot of your questions, okay? I promise you, all right? So Cancers, let's talk about your meditative session. I, I heard Sandcastle. And I was like, oh, that's so interesting, a sandcastle. And it made me think, like, God, sandcastles, like, it's so much fun to build them, first of all. Like, I used to love doing that as a kid. What, like, many kids who, like, go into the beach did that, right? Or if you have, like, a sandbox, whatever. Anyway. Um, there's a foundations camp. There are foundations. Oh, interesting. So there could be many foundations. You could be experiencing a couple tower moments. Also, someone you're connecting with, because it can be vice versa. But cancer, it's, there's a foundation. Could be multiple. Um... A lot of time was put into this. A lot of time was put into it. Um, but just like a sandcastle, one wave and it's gone. Okay. It's something that wasn't either, that either wasn't built on the right things or just wasn't meant to last. I know. I know that a lot of you felt that one the second I said that. It either wasn't built on the right things or it just wasn't meant to last. Now, I did also hear Sands of Time, which tells me that the latter is probably more accurate for a lot of you who will be resonating with this. Sand in, sand in general as a meaning or spiritual meaning, it's about, it is about time. Um, it's also about uh, like, um, how do you say, like a, um, coziness, like comforting, supportive, um, and, and money. Okay. <laughs> and money. So this could have been like, this could see, I'm already talking like it's already gone. Um, oh, cancer. It might be something that might've already needed to be gone. Um, and it might be one of those things where it could be coming down in a tower moment because it wasn't done away with when it should have been done away with. Um, but either way, cancer, whatever it is, I, like I said, I feel like there's a lot of positivity here. I feel like there's a lot of positivity here. For some of you, this could involve money. This could involve your job. This could involve a relationship. It's something that a lot of time was put into, okay? A lot of time was put into. And I do feel, <clears throat> excuse me, there was a lot of focus and a lot of effort put into building this sandcastle of a foundation initially because there was something about it that felt very, like, very familiar, familiar, can't speak I'm sorry guys that felt very familiar or very comfortable or like just very yeah I keep getting familiar I keep getting familiar something that just felt like I know how I know how to do this oh, okay that's what this is it is a little bit like a pattern it feels a little bit like a pattern I know how to do this I know how to work this I know how to build this so I'm gonna do it that's how it felt that's that's how it's feeling that's I, again all this like words of like past tense want to come forward here cancer um but whatever it is like i said i really feel like for most of you it's just something that wasn't meant to last and not everything is i mean there are very few things in this world that are temper like that are permanent <laughs> can't speak that are very permanent like your children will always be your children that's always permanent um change is always like change you can always expect change to happen that's a very consistent thing outside of that not, even permanent hair color is not permanent like there's very few things in this world that are permanent right um and i feel like someone is really having a hard time letting the sandcastle um kind of get washed away okay whether that's you or someone you're connecting with okay so just keep that in mind like i said it can be vice versa now cancer is outside of that deep message that i got i did get some some Oh, I did get many energies and keep in mind cancer when I meditate on energy it's energy in and around you so this could be pertaining to people in your life not just you so please take that in mind um, as you're trying to decide if these messages are for you or not okay I was getting an, like a very single energy like someone's like someone's having a lot of fun or talking to a lot of people or even like dating or just going out with friends a lot just like very three of cups like three of cups nine of pentacles like very single very independent going out having a good time I felt a lot of the energy but I feel like someone's not happy about it, okay? I feel like someone's not happy about it. I feel like someone feels a little rejected. Someone feels very defensive about it. Kind of like, oh, am I not invited to the party? Like, that's kind of how it feels. Am I not included in this? Am I not invited? You want to give other people attention, but you're not giving me attention? Like, that's kind of how it feels. Like, oh, you, I guess you're going to go be your... See, it's very defensive energy. Very defensive energy. Also, it's a little childish, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Like, oh, you're going to go out and do you and be single? Then fine. <laughs> Without me 
fine. Like that's kind of how it feels. It feels very, very defensive, very defensive. I was also picking up on another energy where it feels a little bit like a stare down. Like I said, a lot of messages cancer. Please only take what resonates with you. I'm, you know, this is a general reading for a lot of people and this is just my meditative session, okay? Um, I also picked up on a very much like a stare down, stare off kind of energy that someone, someone's definitely gonna be experiencing this. Whoever's gonna be watching this, there's at least a few of you that I feel like will be experiencing this where you're gonna be staring off with someone Oh God, it feels like so much tension there. So much tension. And it's like, how do I say this? Oh, it's almost like, who's going to say it first? Who's going to say it first? That's how it feels. Who's going to say it first? Whether it's like an ending that needs to be spoken about or a truth that needs to be spoken of or a pink elephant in the room that needs to be spoken like something needs to be spoken something needs to be said but it's kind of like who's gonna do it first that's gonna resonate for some of you okay so cancer like i said a lot of deep shit <laughs> but keep in mind can be people in your environment or can be someone you're connected to doesn't have to be you specifically okay so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle i'm gonna be using the spellcasters deck here as the primary for you guys I haven't used it in a while and i felt really called to it for you very called to it for you Oh, Cancer. Closing forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the last half of November. Okay. I'm like, why are they so... Oh. Nine of Cups just wanted to pop out really... In a very weird way. Piscean energy could also be um, air or water. No, wow. Air or water. Oh, my God. Water or fire. Okay, some of you guys are definitely doing the air sign. You got strong air in your chart. Knight of Cups. Someone's someone's coming in with an offer of love here. Offer of love, message of love, for some even an apology. Um, I was getting a lot of women in, like, pantsuits, like, very alpha females. Um, I feel a really strong masculine energy. Male or female doesn't matter. Energy's not gender, right? Um, that are attracted to that, that are really attracted to, like, feminine power or like women who own that shit like women who are not necessarily aggressive but I, I know I'm saying women but it's that energy like very feminine but very dominant just very alpha like mean business sort of energy not afraid to like be opinionated not afraid to say what they want mm, interesting that just came through for somebody anyway Closing forward messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Hold on, I just thought of a really good title for this already. Hold on. Okay, okay. <sighs> Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Can Raspberry? Raspberry? <laughs> Uh, these food channelings are getting so weird. I just saw raspberries. Maybe some of you need more berries in your life. I just saw raspberries. Or maybe you're eating those. Anyway. I don't think it's a season for that, is it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It so does not matter. That's so funny. That just came in. Uh, please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Ooh, for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. I'm also seeing a bat. I'm seeing a bat. Um, that's a bad usually about renewal and transformation. They're very scorpionic. Be dealing with Scorpio, not necessarily. Um, being able to see in the dark, being able to see, being able to see first and foremost, being able to see, but being able, being able to see in the dark, in the dark is what I just got with that. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. God, they're showing me so many animals. I feel like I'm like seeing all of your animal totems. It's very overwhelming, actually. So I'm not even going to try to attempt how many animals I'm seeing. Like, they're just like flashing through, flashing through, flashing through. Yeah, I'm not going to go into that. It's a lot. Ooh. Oh, boy. Yeah, for some, there's going to be an apology for whoever's coming through here. Uh, six of Pentacles in reverse, uh, Taurian energy with the Magician, Mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader, Divine Masculine energy. This is usually very single energy, someone who works solo, someone who works on their own, someone, oh, someone who works in the dark. A lot of dark going on here, Counselor. Um, but Six of Pentacles in reverse, something feels very unfair, 
something feels very imbalanced. I'm just getting more unfair than anything else. Um, taking. Someone's going to apologize for, for taking too much of your time or your effort. Taking your effort. Interesting. That feels like a, like a pulling of energy. Someone's basically going to apologize for taking. Okay, for taking. Yeah, for taking. For, be, for taking too much. Being too greedy. Being too greedy with your time, your love, your energy. Keep in mind this can be vice versa. It feels like a very masculine energy behind that as well. Okay. But someone's trying to create. Knight of Wands in reverse. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. This feels like another energy. Cancer, this could be you. Keep in mind, like I said, it can be vice versa. This is one energy. This is one energy. And now there's an energy over here where I feel their back is kind of turned. I feel a lot of anger. I feel a lot of anger over here. A lot of anger, a lot of irritation, a lot of frustration. Wow. Nine of Wands in reverse. Sag energy. This person will open themselves, but I feel like they haven't been open. Keep my cancer. Pick whoever you are in this situation. We got someone who's very watery, very earthy over here. Very in tune with energy as well. Do a lot of shit in the dark. And then we have somebody here who's just pure fire, okay? And I feel like it's more just because they're harnessing fire. And I have to really be clear about that. We can harness any energy we want, okay? No matter what signs we are. Um, but I feel like someone here who's been very kind of guarded and like a little standoffish, they are going to be more open about something. But I feel like there's a lot of anger behind this. A lot of anger. Emperor on the bottom, by the way. Pleasing forward any messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. They're showing me that stare down again. They're, it's so weird because whoever is gonna be experiencing this stare down, could, oh, interesting, could even be digital. It could even be digital, it doesn't have to be in person. It could be like, you know, what do you call that? Video chat. You know, the thing, the thing of thing, the video chat. Um, both, both people know what needs to be said. This is so fascinating. It's like there could be some telepathic communication or they, or they could just really understand each other. Both people know what needs to be said. Just no one wants to be the first one. It's kind of funny. Anyway. Closing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. I just heard the 28th. I feel like that's a significant day planetarily speaking. I feel like it is. Is that the new moon? No, I feel like that's the 24th. Something's happened. Something on the 28th. Something on the 28th might be um, connecting with you. <laughs> ah, my words. Oh, boy. Wow. Holy shit, Cancer. So first of all, we got the chariot, your major arcana card, Cancerian energy. And then we have the devil in reverse. Capricorn energy with the full universe. Aries energy could also be um, Aquarian because it's a Uranus card with the four wands and reverse Aries energy. I feel like this is someone leaving that sand castle. I feel like this is a sand castle getting washed away and someone's making a getaway. Someone's leaving this behind. Someone's leaving this, this foundation behind, something that's been easily swept away, something that was also toxic. Something that was also toxic, okay? All right, Cancer. Let's go ahead and get into your actual reading here. There's a lot of information that we got that we hit Jesus. A lot of information that came out for you. So let's go ahead and do your reading. Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the last half of November? Some of you guys are eating grilled cheese. I just saw grilled cheese. The food channelings are so weird. Maybe I should just stop mentioning it. Maybe I should just stop mentioning the food channelings. I just think it's so funny I'm seeing that. Also, Scrabble. Someone really likes to play Scrabble here. And words with friends. I don't know why I'm, just, I'm seeing that. I don't know why I'm seeing that. Any messages for Cancer? Ooh, four of cups. Cancerian energy. You know, I actually like this Four of Cups. I actually like this Four of Cups because it's not your typical illustration for Four of Cups because Four of Cups is like 
having three very unsatisfying options in front of you, but you think they're really awesome, but the best one you're not looking at. In this card, someone's actually looking at it. Someone's looking at the best option, but they know they have other options around them. I'm getting heavy consideration. I'm getting heavy consideration. But someone doesn't feel happy about it. It's like, they don't feel empty, but they just don't feel super happy about the circumstances. Thank you. They don't feel super happy about the circumstances. They have options around them and they know they have an optimal, thank you. And sorry, every time I say thank you, it's my guides talking to me. Um, they have an optimal, optimal option facing them and they know it. So they're meditating on it. They're trying to decide on it, but the circumstance, I'm getting the circumstances at hand make this person really unhappy about the whole thing. About having the other three options or whatever the other options are and having this optimal option. For some reason, the circumstances are not making this person very happy. Any messages for cancer regarding love for the last half of November? Hey. Oh, wow. Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter Energy. Well, <laughs> even though this person doesn't like the circumstances, it's a pretty damn good option, apparently. With Jupiter being right there, it's basically like, hey, um, you want things to move ahead? You want progress in your life? You want abundance? You want fortune? You want luck? The option's staring you in the face and you already know what it is. Yeah, whoever this is, they know the best option. They just don't like the circumstances around it, is what I keep getting. I feel I feel an opening as well. I, I feel like whatever this option is, person or upper, whatever, whatever this option opportunity is, it's really going to open a lot of um, opportunities. It's just going to open this person's life, whether it's you or this other, whether it's you or someone else, it's going to open this person's life and mind. Oh, interesting. And mind. Any messages for cancer regarding love? For the last half of November. Any messages for cancer? Oh, I guess these are the circumstances. Three of swords, Libra energy with the nine of swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Well, there's some pain and heartbreak. Okay. The circumstances around choosing this optimal energy, for whatever reason, comes with pain. Okay. <sighs> Getting a lot of sleepless nights. A lot of sleepless nights, even nightmares for some who actually are sleeping. Interesting. A lot of, yeah, some actually, yeah, I'm getting a lot of nightmares for some. With this, with choosing this optimal option comes pain for whatever reason or another. Okay, let's keep it going. Any other messages for cancer? Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Okay, I yeah, that ending that I was feeling, whatever this optimal option is, it's going to cause an ending. And this person hasn't chosen this optimal, Jesus, hasn't chosen this optimal option because they're afraid of this ending. They're afraid of that pain. They're afraid of having that experience of ending something or a cycle before stepping into their optimal path. Wow, path. I just heard path. Their optimal path. Any messages for cancer? Regarding love for the end of November. Oh, Jesus. I did that for Scorpio too. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Any messages for Cancer? Okay. Overall energy? Oh, okay. Two of Swords in reverse. Moon and Libra energy. Making a clear-headed decision. I think this person is going to choose that optimal option because they know it's for their highest good and they know it's in this opening. I'm getting an opening. Um, it's going to open a lot of doors for them. It's going to open up their life. It's going to open up this person's life. It's going to help expand. The, yeah, very, very similar to the Scorpio read. Definitely check out the Scorpio read if you're dealing with a Scorpio. I have that in your chart. We are in Scorpio season as well, so everyone should be watching Scorpio right now. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting with that. They know it's going to open up their life, give them abundance. It's just going to get things moving, but they know they have to end something and they're resisting doing that because it seems like it's going to be a painful experience. And they've been having nightmares about this. and They've been stressing about this as well. Oh, boy. All right, so let's look at the Four of Cups. <laughs> let's take a look at the option they're looking at. Um, let's do Haunted House. I had a lot of fun using this in the Scorpio reads. So let's go ahead and use this one. It's a new deck that I got. I know Halloween's over, but oh well, I don't care. So I have Four of Cups for Cancer. 
regarding love at the end of November. Oh boy. Oh, wait, hold on. New deck, I haven't looked at it too closely. No, this is the knight. Knight of Wands, Sag energy, could also be Aries or Leo with the Two of Cups. Mm hmm. <laughs> Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy, and it's mutual. It's mutual. Wow. So basically, this, this person's considering going towards a soulmate. Going towards an opportunity with a soulmate, an opportunity in love and passion. I want, a part of me wants to say work, but that doesn't feel right. <laughs> a part of me wants to say that, but that doesn't feel right. Anyway, let's keep it going. That just like spit out of nowhere. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Cancer. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Cancer. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Cancer. Regarding love for the for the last half of November. Tell me about the four of cups for cancer regarding love for the last half of November. Tell me about the four of cups. There we go. Wow, with the knight of swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Wow, this is a lot of movement. It's a lot of freaking movement. Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Two of the fastest moving knights, by the way. Someone wants to head there really fast. Whoever this person is, they want to head there fast. Time about the Four of Cups. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. They just need to make the, make the decision to do it and make space. Two of Pentacles upright is juggling, handling a lot, being really busy. Two of Pentacles in reverse is letting something go, making space for something, or dropping a Pentacle. This person needs to make space for this opportunity. Overall energy, yep, Four of Cups. Wow, with the King of Cups. So Four of Cups is a double confirmation there. So a lot of contemplation about this. King of Cups is scorpionic energy. Could also be water or air. Wow. I'm kind of surprised. I will... I'm happy to see the king here. I'm really happy to see the king because we have two knights and knights are cool, but they're knights, you know, they're knights. They're all about movement, but a king is about um, stability. A king is about commitment. And this is about a commitment in love. Okay. So very obvious there of what's going on. Um, and like I said, Jupiter is attached. Well, I keep saying Jupiter. It is Jupiter, but Wheel of Fortune is attached. They know this opportunity is gold for them. They know it is. They know it is. But like I said, they're resisting an ending here because they're afraid it's going to bring a lot of pain. So let's see what the ending is they're afraid of initiating. And then we'll look at the pain. Um, I haven't used Gilded that much. I haven't used Gilded for this one. I'm going to turn the Swords in Reverse for Cancer regarding love. For the last half of November. Tell me about Ten of Swords in Reverse for Cancer. Regarding love. Oh, we got some peekers here. Wait a minute. How did that happen? Whoa, hold on a second. I thought I saw a lot of peekers. <laughs> okay, I'm not taking these because it seems like a lot, but I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to show them to you. The four of wands in verse, the queen of wands in verse, and the three of cups. Um, Possible reconciliation in something that was already broken, okay? Or left behind. But like I said, it felt like a lot and it didn't feel right, so I'm just putting them back. Tell me about the tennis. If they come out again, they'll come out again. Tell me about the tennis swords in reverse for cancer regarding love. Tell me about the tennis swords in reverse for cancer regarding love. For the end of November. Oh, Jesus. Last half of November. <laughs> Tell me the Ten of Swords in reverse for Cancer regarding love for the last half of November. High Priestess in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Having truth come out. I've just felt like a lot of hidden shit. Like hidden knowledge, hidden feelings, hidden information coming out to light. Letting it out. Letting it out. Thank you. Letting it out. Letting it out. Someone's resisting doing this. Someone's resisting doing this. Because they know if they do, an ending will, will happen. 
Well, Three of Cups wanted to come out again. Three of Cups, Cancerian energy with the Two of Swords in reverse, Moon and Libra energy. Um, really wanting a reconciliation of some kind. A reunion. And knowing, knowing that, that someone's made a choice to reconcile. Someone's made, yeah, oh wow. Letting it be known that someone has made a choice to reconcile with a person. But that's going to cause an ending. Oh boy. Time with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Got another card out here, but I'll wait for more cards to come out. Time with Ten of Swords in reverse. Time with Ten of Swords in reverse for Cancer regarding love for the end of November. We have Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. That's It's interesting because it's like, Letting it be known that someone has decided to reconcile with someone and this has been a secret. So letting this out will cause an ending of sorts. But then we have an Eight of Pentacles in reverse, which is like not putting energy into something or not looking at something, not understanding something. That's weird. Overall energy, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, which is a long standing foundation. Could also, like I said, this could involve work. Don't feel like it does. <laughs> I feel like it involves romance, but a long standing foundation with the world in reverse underneath that. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, neutrals, Capricorn, not wanting this to come to an end, not wanting a long standing foundation to come to an end, not wanting that sandcastle to come to an end, but chariot in reverse, can't Syrian energy and unable to move away from it. Unable to move away from it. And then we have five of swords, Venus and Aquarian energy, very defeating energy. I feel like someone's trying so hard to not let the sandcastle be washed away. I feel like that's what this is like. I'm going to do whatever I can on my power to make sure the sandcastle stays intact. But then we get justice in reverse. Libra energy. That it's a, it's a very imbalanced decision to do that. And it's coming from ego. It's coming from fear. Wow. Okay. Whoever this energy is, they have an option in front of them. Very optimal. Very promising. Very beautiful. Something that they want to give love and passion and honesty to. But they have to let something go to do it. And whatever it is that they need to come to an end, they're trying desperately to not let it come to an end. It's like, I, I will die before I let this thing go in order to take on this optimal foundation. Or, oh, that's interesting. Optimal. I was going to say optimal option. Foundation came out of my mouth. But doing this, like holding up the sandcastle as long as possible is an injustice. Oh, my God. Three of Cups could be a third party situation because I'm like, for it to be a secret, to have a coming together with somebody, to cause an ending. Uh, you know what I mean? If you're coming together with someone, it shouldn't be ending it, right? And someone's trying not to let something go, to go after something else. Could definitely be a third party situation here. Because Eight of Pentacles in reverse, something's not being looked at. So let's look at Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Not being looked at or not, like no effort, like no effort being put into something. Very far away, hold on. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Talk about the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and we do. We hate third parties. We do have the Three of Swords here, so we do have the two, three, um, the two third party cards. If we get Seven of Swords, it definitely be confirmed. But let's take a peek. If you already know this part of your situation, you already know. Talk about Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So it's hard to third party situations, guys. Talk about Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and a third party could be work. It, the mistress could be work. Doesn't have to be a person. Talking about Eight of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer. Too many. Talking about Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Anchor with the Nine of Swords. Anchor is being permanently tied to something, being bogged down by something, feeling like you can't escape something. Wow. With the Mice. Ugh. Seven of, seven of Wands. Seven of Wands with 23 breaking down to five. Mice are pests. It's a card of annoyances, also a card of like diminishes here. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Um, So whatever the sandcastle that like someone's trying really hard to like hold up here, um, them being tied to it is actually getting diminished over time. And they're not realizing that. That's what they're not realizing, that they can't really stop the sandcastle from falling it will fall eventually because the, the anchor, the permanency of it is slowly being diminished. My, mice are about diminishes, not just annoyances, but also that staying in the sandcastle, even though they're desperately trying to hold it together. 
um, is not really in their highest good. It's kind of a pest in their life. And I don't mean to say that very bluntly. I don't mean to say that like it's a terrible thing. Um, but they have something optimal in their future, in their face. And other things around them are keeping them from that. E. Okay. Let's see what else we got going on here. Some of the Eight of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love for the last half of November. I just heard February. I'm hearing February a lot for people, by the way. So I have Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, that's it. Overall, ooh, we've got the heart with the Knight of Cups. And then we have the fish with the King of Pentacles here. Fish can be work, but it could also be, um, like, how do I say this? Like emotional fluidity, like flow of energy, the flow of emotion here, flow of emotion. Yeah, I really feel like the connection here that they really do want this optimal opportunity with the two of cups, that's really where their heart lies. That's where their abundance, thank you, their abundance lies. Like I said, wheel of fortune, abundance lies. And we have the king of cups where they have love for it for Jesus, I can't speak. The opportunity they have a lot of love for where their heart really lies. That's what's on their mind here. But they're also not seeing that whatever they're tied to already is already diminishing out of their control. They can't stop it. They're trying to slow it down. They're trying desperately. Like, I will keep this standing as long as I can at all costs. I will keep this, this sandcastle standing. And even though it's an injustice to them. Oh, this is sad. Cancer. Okay. Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Let's look at the Three of Swords and we'll pull some Oracle cards because this is getting a little too heavy even for me. All right, so let's do right or wait for this one. So the Three of Swords. This person who's in this contemplation mode, they just don't want to be stressed out anymore. They don't want any more stress. They don't want any more stress. So how about Three of Swords? So how about Three of Swords for Cancer? Talk about three of swords for cancer regarding love for the last half of November. Talk about three of swords for cancer regarding love for the last half of November. Talk about three of swords. Talk about three of swords for cancer. Regarding love for the last half of November. Oh, Lordy. Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. I feel like this is about a decision. Could also be about a divinely guided connection as well. Because there's a lot of pain attached to this. There's a lot of pain attached to this. Now I'm feeling a big pull in my heart chakra. <sighs> Shit. A big pull in my heart chakra. Yeah, decisions got to be made. They're either going to take this optimal option or they're not. That's what it's coming down to. They're going to get out of a sandcastle to go for this, or they're going to make space in their life for this or not. Time of the Three of Swords for Cancer regarding love for the last half of November. Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Yeah, I'm getting heavy competition with this. I'm also getting arguments. I feel like there's a lot of arguments happening between two people. Uh, a lot of arguments and that needs to end. It's adding a lot of stress. It's adding a lot of stress to this person who's trying to figure out if they should take this optimal option or not. Um, God, I feel like it's just weighing heavy on this person. And I don't feel like this person's talking a lot about the arguments that are being had. They want the arguments to stop. They want the arguments to cease. And there also is, a, is an energy of competition that really needs to be done away with. Talking about Three of Swords. Talking about Three of Swords. For Cancer. Time about Three of Swords for Cancer. So as of right now, this person who needs to make this choice, they already know what they want. They're just afraid to take that action of going for it. They know what they want, but they're afraid to take the action of doing it. Let's see here. I... Yeah, this feels very third party heavy. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy with Temperance in reverse, Sag energy with the Three of Cups, Cancerian energy. Someone's evaluating their situation and they're realizing how imbalanced the situation is at hand. How imbalanced it is, how unhealthy it is too is what I'm getting, how unhealthy it is. 
Queen of Three of Swords for Cancer. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Instability. I'm getting just major instability. This person could also lose out on this optimal opportunity. The longer, the longer they stay in, in evaluation mode and that they try so hard to hold up this sandcastle that's eventually going to get washed away, the more instability they're going to have and more likely they're going to lose it on this opportunity altogether. Tell me about Three of Swords for Cancer. Tell me the Three of Swords for Cancer. Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. I'm just getting a lot of anger. I'm getting a lot of anger and frustration with that. Tell me about Three of Swords. Someone's also turning their back. Overall energy, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio with judgment. Wow. And then the freaking Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. I feel like this Queen of Wands is turning their back here. Um, and then there's a judgment call happening between these two people. I feel three people here. There are three people here. It doesn't matter the gender. They're all coming across as queens. It does not matter the gender here. Um, I feel like this person, is this this person? Wait, hold on. Is this this person? <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a conversation with them. <sighs> no, it's the Queen of Swords. Thank you. This Queen of Swords, I feel like is part of this optimal opportunity. Uh, that this Queen of Cups is not taking. And I feel like this Queen of Swords is about to call judgment on it. This Queen of Swords is about to call judgment on it. And then you've got someone over here who's just very angry by this whole situation. Angry that there's just instability all around. Oh, this is a shit show, Cancer. <laughs> oh, you guys know I don't like to do these kind of reads. But I'm the messenger. I, whatever comes out has to come out, right? Someone clearly has to hear this. Someone clearly has to hear this. So we have someone trying to hold up a sandcastle. Wasn't either, it either wasn't meant to last or it wasn't built on the right things. They have an optimal opportunity in front of them with someone who is very much a kindred spirit. And it's mutual. The feelings are mutual. They want to run towards this person. But they know if they do, they have to make space or let go of someone in their life. I, this feels heavy third party situation. They already know what they want. They already know what they want. And they know that keeping the situation going is very unhealthy, very imbalanced. At the same time, whoever it is that they're dealing with in the sandcastle, there's a hell of a lot of fighting. There's a lot of fighting. Uh, and it's adding a lot of stress to their life. They know what they need to go for. They know who they need to go towards. They're just afraid to leave what they're comfortable with. They're afraid to leave what they've already built up. Um, and at the same time, they're afraid of the pain that will ensue by just speaking the truth about this. Wow. Okay. Let's get advice, Cancer. <laughs> Glad I only did two signs today. <laughs> Any advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my Cancers? What time is it? Oh, I got a lot of time. Oh, good, 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 good. Any advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? I can get some of my to-do list done. Any advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? Yeah, someone's going to make a judgment call. I Someone's going to make a judgment call because it's just, th this shit is, th this shit is out of whack, okay? <laughs> this is not sustainable. This is not a sustainable situation and someone is stressed to hell about it. They can't live with this level of stress. Whoever this is. Oh, Cancer. And again, when we get multiple energies like this, Cancer, um, you could be any one of these people. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? 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 For some of you, this person trying to hold up the sandcastle might end up just choosing the sandcastle altogether because they're so stressed out and they know they need to make a decision. Um, they might end up just choosing to stick with the sandcastle to just lessen their stress. But the sandcastle is going to fall. Wow. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. Energy of 33. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. 67, breaking down to four. Why do I feel like these are two different people? I mean, advice comes out funny, right? I feel like these are two different people. I feel like this wolf spirit, I feel like this is the person holding up the sandcastle and this horse spirit, I feel like is actually um, the person who's, who's just about to like be like, like 
the, the person on the other end of the optimal opportunity. We'll call this person the optimal opportunity here, okay? Um, wow, okay. Thank you, Spirit. This person is optimal because they're free. That's so interesting. This person, whoever they are, whoever, it could be a Sag because it's horse energy. Whoever this optimal person is for this person contemplating, this person's very independent. They're very independent. They're very, very free. I'm just getting free. They're very free. And I feel like that they're teaching this person about how to be free. Oh my God, I love this. How to be free. Will Spirit is a teaching energy. It is a wisdom energy as well. Oh, excuse me. Um, it's someone who basically, they, they've learned enough to put it into practice, right? I feel like they've been learning from this person. This person who's gonna sh who they can share this optimal opportunity with. Thirty three is a master number. It's it's surpassing self mastery. They're just very free and, and independent. And this wolf this wolf person has learned a lot from that, and they can learn more. And again, remember I was getting this this energy of like open, just open everything. Like this person's life can open up tremendously if they go towards their optimal path. Okay. Two cars just fell out, but I don't want. To I don't want, I don't want to call it. Um, I'll show them to you. I'll show them to you because one of them is bat with wombat spirit be at home. I'm just getting more of that freedom energy, like being so free within yourself and finding like your inner happy place to find where you're truly happy. Wow. To find where you're truly happy. This person is contemplating their optimal path. They have a lot of amazing things ahead of them if they choose this optimal path. Let's see what else wants to come out. Any other advice for my cancers? Ooh, fox spirit, think on your feet. That's actually one of the animals I saw. I saw a lot, but the ones that stick out was eagle, fox, and turtle. Uh, 27, breaking down to a nine here, okay? This is about making smart decisions. Think on your feet is also a card about wittiness, kind of like thinking on your, like thinking, Jesus, making smart decisions in a, in a fast way, like not needing a lot of time to make these decisions and have it work out for the best. This person's struggling with this. This person is really struggling with this energy, but they already know what they want. They already know what they want, but it's coming down to a point where this opportunity is about to slip away. Ace of Pentacles in a verse, it's about to slip away. So it's like, okay, well, you already know what you want. You already know the best decision. It's action time. Time is a ticking and you're losing time. Okay. Let's see. Any other advice? Ooh, very nice. Electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. 24, break it down to a six. This is a manifestation energy. And just look at all that water, Cancer. Is that like not perfect for a water reading? Um, again, it's just about making shit happen. And I do feel a lot of emotional satisfaction with this. Bring your ideas to life. The ideas that make you, like, just make you emotionally happy. Like very nine of cups. Very nine of cups. Where does your heart, where does your heart lie? <laughs> and we've already went over that. So I won't, I won't talk about that to death i already talked about that during the reading this person knows where their heart lies they just have to go where their heart lies because if you go where your heart lies and where you're truly happy success will follow success will follow any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread overall yep be spirit sweet results await energy of seven so being on your path hanging heading in the right direction be spirit is an energy of abundance and blessings and gifts everything the wheel of fortune brings the path is very clear it's just about making the right decisions to do it and like i said for some this person who's contemplating will choose the sand castle even though the sand castle is going to fall but some of them might wake up in time but everyone's situation is going to be different. But essentially, that's what's going on with this person who's contemplating cancer. No matter who you are in the situation, if you're that person in the sandcastle with them or the person who's contemplating or the person who's on the other end of that optimal opportunity, if you're, you know, essentially the horse energy, whoever you are, I really hope that this, um, whoever you are in the situation, I hope that this, uh, that you found this insightful and helpful. Sorry, I don't have all my words with me. Uh, I hope you found this insightful and helpful, and I hope that you guys have a really great night. Don't forget to check out Patreon and Vimeo as well. I tried to get Vimeo Partner set up. I really had to rest this weekend. I don't know what came over me. I was hit with a lot of energy, and I had to sleep a lot. But I will try to have it up this week, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you later. Have a great night, Cancers. Namaste.